In this video, you're going to learn how to add a new feature to your C-Sharp application without changing the existing code. I will show you exactly how Autofac helps you applying the open-close principle in your C-Sharp application. Let's go! Hi, I'm a software engineer with more than 10 years experience on the .NET platform. On this channel, you find videos about software development focusing on the .NET platform. My goal is to help you succeed as a .NET developer. If you want to improve your skills, subscribe to the channel and make sure you watch my future content for free. In the last video of this series, we've learned how to extend our application after the project has built. You might want to check out this video later. In this video, we're going to learn how to create an application which let us quickly add features and components later on. Wouldn't it be great if we could just add an implementation to the application and everything works without changing our existing code? First, let's take a look at our application. This is my Hockey Manager WPF application for Windows Desktop. This demo application is closer to a real-world application than a simple code snippet. The application is split into two parts. On the top, we have the navigation items and below we have the content. When we click on a navigation item, the content changes to another view. Our goal is to add a new navigation component to our application. Let's see how the application currently works. In our main window view model constructor, we create instances of our navigation view models and add them to our navigation items list. This list will be displayed in the window. If we want to create a new navigation item, for example a game component, we need to create a new class, implement the new navigation item and add it to this list. Let's do it. We add a new class to the project and name it game navigation item view model. First, we need to extend our class from the navigation item view model base class, which implements the i navigation item interface. We define our title and add a simple implementation for our navigate method, which shows a message box. Next, we head to our main window view model class and we add our game navigation item view model to the navigation items list. Let's start the application again. Our game navigation item appears and if we click on it, we get the message box as expected. For every navigation item we will define and add in the future, we need to do the same. First, we create an implementation of the iNavigation item interface and we add it to the navigation items list in the main window view model class. Wouldn't it be great if we could just add new implementations to the application without changing the existing code in the main window view model class? It's not only a few lines of unnecessary code, but it's also error prone to manually change the code of this class over and over again. Luckily, Autofac can help us to do the job. Wouldn't it be great if Autofac would give us a list of all the navigation items in our application? Well, it's as simple as it sounds. Let's remove this code section and add a new constructor parameter to our main window view model class. The new parameter is of type i enumerable of type i navigation item. The only thing we need to do in our main window view model class is to assign the argument to our navigation items property. Let's start the application again. Oh, it's not working. There's not even a single navigation item in our navigation bar. Let's close the application and fix it. We do not see navigation items in our application because we did not register them to our Autofact container. Let's go into the Autofact setup class where our dependencies are registered. Let's register our four navigation item view models as implementations of the iNavigation item view model interface. Let's start the application again. And there they are, all four navigation items show up in our navigation bar. That's it. It's a simple trick to help you separate different parts of your application. Every time you add a new feature, you create a new class, register it to the container and you're good to go. We don't have to change the code in our main window view model class if you want to add a new navigation item. Applying this strategy follows the open closed principle which states that an application should be open for extension but closed for modification. In this video, we've learned how we can use Autofact and interfaces to create an extensible application. 
Nobody wants to change the code of multiple classes to add a new feature. Using the AutoFact Collection Injection feature, we can create an application that follows this rule. We create new classes for new features and we don't have to change existing code. If you find this approach useful, or if you do something else to add features without changing the existing code base, please write it in the comments below. This takes us to the question of the day. Let me know in the comments if you want to know how to set up AutoFact in a WPF application. I might cover it in a future video. If you like this video, please hit the like button as it helps the channel grow and allows me to produce more free content in the future. If you want to improve as a .NET developer, subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next.